amis. Et je m'appelle Madame Esther et j'espère que vous allez très bien. Aujourd'hui, nous avons une nouvelle leçon sur le tableau. Good day and welcome. Today we are, have a, we are going to have a very new lesson on the board. Welcome and my name is Mrs. Esther. I hope you are all well. Yeah, okay. All right. On the board here, we are going to be talking about situer dans l'espace. Situer dans l'espace. That's how to locate things and people in a place. How to locate things and people in a place. That's what I mean by situer dans l'espace. I say it again. Now I'm going to say it after me. Situer dans l'espace. Situer dans l'espace. Situer dans l'espace. So we're going to make this lesson very brief, as brief as possible. Where we're going to look at... Um, Articles. Remember, les articles contraire. We look uh, contract. We looked at les articles contract in the last term. So we're going to look at that and how we're going to combine these word, these and some words to know uh, prepositions to use when situating things in a place, when placing things or. Putting things in a place, is it under, is it on top, is it beside, is it above, is it where, where, is it uh, inside? We're going to look at that, just that for today. And then in the next lesson, we're going to look at a very, very brief dialogue where we have to really, really place these things in different areas. C'est clair? Okay. So, to locate things, we have different areas, different places, different places. So, to locate things, we have on. Um, on that, this side, on top, uh, and so on. So the first one I'm going to be looking at is su. 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 There are two. Let me write them at once. We have su. Also. Su. Okay, I'm going to pronounce these two for you to see. So before we continue, who localize? You see here, pour localiser. Pour localiser here means to locate. To locate. Let me write it in bracket. To locate. To locate. So we were on su and su. The first one is su. 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 Remember the u in French is u. U. So that is su. So the second one is su, su. Remember this is u. So here is su and this is su. Do you get that? That is su and su. Su and su. Do you understand that? Okay. Su here means un and here is under. Un and this is under. That is it. So, let's get down to the next one. Next one here we have Dovin. Here the way I'm pronouncing it, I'm pronouncing it after me. Dovin. This is Dovin. And it means in front. In front. So, in front, in French, it is Dovin. Dovin. So we've looked at two. We've looked at two. So the next one is the rear. The rear. Next one is the rear. And the rear is behind. Behind. The next one here is entre. Entre. Remember I told you this. Is un, un. So this is entre. Entre is between. The next one is dun. Dun, just like you, you've seen there on the topic. Dun, situé dans l'espace. Dun here means in. In. 
Fredo. Fredo. All right. The next one is Fredo. Fredo. Fredo here means close to. Close to. So it can also mean near, near. So a potato is beside, on fast though, on fast though here can be said to be opposite, opposite of that, opposite. So a drop though means uh, at the left, let's say a drop is at the right. Let's look at this again before we go to those articles I talked about. So I said the first one uh, is su. Su, su, su is an. So, locating things and people in a place, we have to look at all this. Is it on, or on? Is it on top? Is it under? Is it inside? Is it in front? Is it opposite? Is, it, is this man opposite this man? Is this table opposite this table? Or is it pen inside or under or on the table? That's all we are doing here. All right. So like I said, the first one is su. And then that, that means on. Su la table or the table. So that's what we're going to be looking at. But first of all, let's look at the rest. The next, second one is su. Don't forget the first one is you and the second one here is su. Okay, the next one we have is dovan. Dovan. Even if you see dovan do, dovan do, don't be confused. Is in front of. So the next one is derriere. Derriere. I say it again. Derriere and derriere here means behind. So having looked at that, we have the next one, entre, entre, entre is in between. And down, down here is in. Dans la maison, dans la table, dans la chest, and so on. So let's look at predo, predo. Predo, I said, is close to, it can be near, uh, near the table. Uh, near the or close to the table, near the table or close to the table. So, and um, Fredo means close to or near. The next one we have a cotedo. Here is a cotedo. A cotedo. Don't forget this accent on top here. A cotedo. So that means beside. A cotedo means beside. So we also have on fast do. On fast do here means opposite on fast do. Uh -huh. Let's not forget a droite do. A droite, a droite, a droite do. A droite do means at the right. When you have something at the right, you can also have something at the left. So at the left is a, a gouge do. A gouge do. So having looked at all this, let's look at how to use those articles to merge with this once once you see anyone do 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 we are going to use those articles with them so we are going to look at that now you remember we talked about uh there's a article contract there's a trip article contract where you have a and then we have plus la we have a plus no we have a plus um let no let's say l apostrophe we have a plus le and you already know that a plus la gives us a la a la and a plus no gives us o and a plus l apostrophe gives us a l apostrophe and then for plural we have a plus le which gives us o o this is o and this is o this is for plural this is for singular that's o okay 
Like I said, these all these are going to be used for these ones that have do that end with do. For example, let's use a uh, Fredo. Fredo. Now the uh, what the place that will go for this ala, which is a masculine, uh, which is masculine, will be let's say bank, la bank, la bank. Uh -huh. Ala will be marché, au oh, marché, because marché is my feminine, masculine, and la bank, bank, bank is a feminine, marché is masculine. So let's use marché. No, now, A plus L apostrophe, that is A, L apostrophe will be, let's use a, a place that uh, has a vowel that starts with a vowel of root H. Let's use L'Hopital, A L'Hopital, L'Hopital. All right. Now, for plural, we can use um, anyone that, let's say, a place that is a uh, the plural place a uh, more than one place. But let's look at this first. Let's use credo. La bank air the la uh, uh, the and so on will be close to something that will be uh, beside or in front or behind. Okay, so like I said, let's start with credo, which is first uh, here. Starting with do, Fredo. So we say, if you want to say I am, I am close to. I'm placing myself now close to the particular place. So you can now say je suis. Fredo, la bank. Do you understand that? Hmm. Or you can say je suis au auprès de. Or you can say, je suis au marché. Or j'habite près de, près de marché. Or à côté de, if you are not using près de. So what I'm trying to say here is that once you see de, you have to use um, uh, this one. Do you know you see de? Ala will give you something. When you add a plus no, it will give you o. So once you are using a masculine, when the place is masculine, so you should know it will definitely turn to o. And then ala will still be ala, and a apostrophe will be a apostrophe. Like you have seen, ala pita. Jabit a côté of Fredo, la bank. Jabit Fredo, Fredo marché. Now you having pre do marché pre du marché. Now if it is la bank, you have a pre do la bank. If it is l'hôpital, you have pre do l'hôpital. So I've used this to bring your minds back to this thing, this ad, let's article contract that we did. So it's not exactly that, but it's bringing us back to what we've done before. So this, that is how it is. Fred du marché, Fred de la banque, Fred de l'hôpital. Now, if it is not Fred de, it could be the next one, à côté de, which is beside. Jabit, let's say Jabit. À côté du marché, j'habite à côté de la banque, j'habite à côté de l'hôpital. So, if it is not à côté, it could be en face de, which is opposite. Opposite, and it can be j'habite en face de, en face du marché, du. That's the change I'm trying to make you understand. J'habite près de la banque, j'habite. Um, on face de la main, j'habite en face de l'hôpital, and so on and so forth. And then you can also use the uh, adroit do, a gauche do. So once 
you are using a masculine uh, place, a place that is masculine, you know how it's going to change, how the change is going to affect it, if it is feminine, how it's going to be, and if it is in front of, uh, if it is L apostrophe, how the change is going to be. So, having looked at all this, let's look at a little activity to do. So, this is the voix. So, complete these sentences. Complete these sentences with do, do la, or L apostrophe. So, which one would this, uh, one of these suit in? So, you are using if any of these to fill these blank spaces. So, complete these sentences with do, do la, or L apostrophe. Number one, j'habite à côté dash bank. J'habite à côté dash bank. Two, le marché est près dash église. Number three, Marie habite en face dash marché. Number four, l'école est à droite dash maison. Number five, le supermarché se trouve à gauche dash dash hotel. So, you are going to fill those blank spaces for me. Remember okay, what we just did uh, today, especially the ones we just did concerning do any of this that end we do to help you to fill these spaces. Okay, having looked at all this today, we'll stop that uh, the next time you need to go to continue from there going to stop today so i have to say goodbye and see you soon Haru.